kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes, goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for the fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Christ himself is that treasure and that fine pearl of great price that the gospel speaks about. He is our treasure. He is our pearl. And in order for us to gain him, we have to sacrifice certain things. If we want to enter into communion with him, if we want to enjoy him, we have to purify ourselves. We have to sell those things that would hinder our relationship with the Lord. Those things might be our sins, certain other obstacles. Sometimes there is a veil covering our eyes our hearts, our minds, a veil that prevents us from recognizing the Lord Jesus Christ as the peril of our hearts, the peril of our lives. What is that veil? What is that veil? It could be our lack of faith. It could be materialism when our heart is attached to the things of this world, to worldly things. But it could also be sloth. What is sloth? Sloth is spiritual laziness. It is the lacking of hunger for spiritual things. When we are bored with God, when we become bored with spiritual goods, and we start taking things for granted. If we are suffering sloth, that spiritual laziness, that weariness of the soul, then we will not be awed, awed by Christ, by the gospel by the mercy of the Lord. We have to ask the Lord, Lord, remove the veil from my eyes. Remove that which is hindering me from finding you and finding therefore my happiness, my joy, my life, my love. Once we find Jesus we can say with St. Paul in his, in his uh, letter to the uh, Philippians, he said, I consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them so much a rubbish that I may Gain Christ. Once you find Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, in the Sacrament of Confession, in His Word, in His people, in His Church, once you find the knowledge of Christ, you will consider everything as a loss. And you will sell everything you can for you, for you to gain Christ. He's our everything. He's our everything. Let us fight against those things that may prevent us from knowing Him, from finding Him. 
Let us ask the Lord to remove that veil from our face so we can become radiant, so we can experience his joy, his happiness. May we become radiant in his presence so others may also know him through that transformation the Lord has done in us, through his word, through his presence in the Eucharist, through the sacraments. Let us pray in silence.